Hi everyone, Nick Kratikos of Nick Seasonal Recor, uh, here with my dad and you're watching us on Bodabra and we have a bunch of bows to be making and we're also going to be making kind of a, a pretty summer wreath. So it's going to be using some yellow flowers, some green flowers, and a beautiful green bow. So as you guys come in, drop a comment down below. Let me know if you can see me okay and if you can hear me okay. And I'm just going to pull up the video on my phone. We're going to do a quick little rundown with the supplies. And do take note, look at my crystal clear table. Dad just finished up painting this for me. So let's all thank Dad for that. It looks amazing. Um... And yeah, every few weeks or so, you know, dad just comes down here and does a quick clean coat. This was actually one of those, um, you know, fake wooden tables with that veneer finish. I don't like that look. I think it looks cheap. So I'd much rather have this white. Uh, so it's probably really showcasing nice against all of the products. So from left to right my way or right to left on your way, we have the large Bodabra here. And what we also have next to that is the mini Bodabra. So this Bodabra, you know, is primarily used for hair bows, but you can make some smaller bows. And we're going to do a quick demo on creating a smaller bow with this. And after that, what we have is two examples of the wire. So we have the gold wire, and this is a hundred yard spool. And, you know, it's very, very sturdy. It's very, very thin, but the coating it has on the outside protects the metal and makes it that much more sturdy. So we have the gold and then we also have the silver. So if you're doing something where you don't want the gold, you know, showing on the back of a design or whatever the case may be, you can switch it over. But in the end, you don't really see much of it anyway. So the first thing we're going to need to do is cut a length of wire. Hello, everyone. Okay, so just cutting a random length of wire. I like to cut it a little bit longer than we may need. Um, you're better off having it longer than shorter because shorter will just make your life a living hell trying to piece an extra piece on. So, you know, you're only going to be wasting a few inches, if that at all. So we place the wire directly on the top. See how we have that little slit on the surface? And that's how we're going to secure it. So another thing is, is as you guys come in, hi Mary, hey Pam, is comment down below. Let us know that you would like to win a free roll of ribbon each Monday that we're live here in Bodabra. They are generous enough to give away a free roll of scrunchie ribbon. So, you know, hands up, comment down below. You could be our lucky winner from the night. Rebecca got her Bodabra last week and I already made four bows. She loves it. That's awesome. Awesome, Rebecca. So we're going to be using these two plaids to, uh, today, and I thought that would be kind of a fun combo is mixing these two with a funky bow, so dad's personal favorite. And if you're interested in purchasing the Bodabra, if you're interested in purchasing the wire, they also have some ribbon kits that we're going to be working with in a little bit. Uh, you can purchase everything through our affiliate link in the comments section. So Bodabra has pinned the comment where you can purchase all of their supplies. So we're going, to just, we're going to cut a bunch of awareness ribbons. See how that kind of looks like an awareness ribbon? Yep. So we're going to do that. Notice the tails are two different lengths. That just adds to the beauty here, you guys. You don't have to be a perfectionist. And then what we can do is move all the stuff out of the way and place your ribbon in. So we're going to alternate between each of these ribbons. So we placed the first plaid with the blue, the pink, and the green. Now we're going to do the orange, the uh, pink, and the yellow. And just alternate. So you don't need your tails, like I said, the same length, but you know, kind of roughly in the same ballpark will create a nice bow, the bow at least we're trying to create today. So take the next piece, place it in the opposing end. Teresa loves ribbon, awesome. And just continue repeating that process over and over again. What you can also do too, is you can work in your ribbon inside of your Bodabra. So I like to rotate my Bodabra, but if you don't want to have it pre-cut, you can just place your tail in like so, twist it, place your loop, and now it's all confined within that Bodabra. So then we can just cut our extra tail. And we'll do this two or three times till these, we have enough. These ribbons are bomb, Nick. Aren't they? Aren't these pretty, you guys? Oh, I love them. So these are Sam's Club ribbons. We're still working through some of our rolls. Um, we only picked out one roll of each this year, which is kind of unusual. Usually we pick up more. Uh, but this year we left plenty for others. We only picked up a couple extra burlap, and I don't think I have any more left except for a few leftover rolls, which is kind of a bummer, but that's okay. So we've worked in two so far of each. Uh, what do you think, Dad? Should we do a third? Let's do a third. Let's do a third, you guys. Make this a really nice full bow. So also, as you guys come in, if you don't mind, what is the smaller one next to you? So that's the mini Bodabra, and we'll showcase that in a few minutes, uh, creating a mini bow. Uh, but if you guys don't mind hitting that like and share button, we would appreciate it. And as always, the biggest tip you guys can give us is letting us know you like and enjoy these videos. I mean, it can't get any better than hearing your feedback. Uh, so if you would like to continue seeing our lives, you know, let us know and we'll keep at it for as long as you want. Who else has a heat wave going on in their town? It's in the mid-90s today. Oh, it's unbelievable, you guys. The heat is a killer here. 
Um, it's just been unbelievable. I mean, all of our plants need to be watered two, three times a day with this heat that we've been having. Uh, another 95 degree day. Yesterday was like 99, today's 95. And at night, you think nights would be cooler, and it's not. It's still high 70s. One more day, they say. One more day, they say. So again, yeah, the link is pinned down below. Love to win ribbon. Love my Bodabra. Awesome, Becky. And also, don't forget, Bodabra does have a group you guys can join, their fan gallery. And Bodabra will share that at a later point throughout this video. And you can, you know, see other techniques, see other bows that members have created, um, you know, more tutorials and whatnot. So now we're just tying it off, and there's our bow. What we got to do now is what, Dad? Dovetail. Dovetail. So we're going to take our ribbons, fold in half, and cut from the middle out towards the edge. And do that to all of your tails. So I like to, you know, do everything in each video. That way you guys can see exactly what the bows are going to look like. And then afterwards, what we end up doing is we end up sending pictures to Bodabra of kind of the bows and their, you know, full glory. So you guys can kind of envision what they look like. And they don't even have to be put on projects. The way we take our pictures of our bows, they look like a, like, like just a, a painting. You know, bows are beautiful all on their own too. So you don't have to place a bow on anything special. All right. We got three tails left, and then we can switch over to our next bow. I'm loving this bow. Ohio is very hot and humid right now. Rebecca would like to win. Yeah, let us know what the weather's like. It's 80 here in Montana, but we live 4,800 feet. Feels hotter. I would love to visit Montana one of these days. I want to visit Montana Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so fluffing out all of our loops and our tails. Just pull everything apart, you guys. Hi, Connie. Kentucky in the house. Hello, Connie hey, says. Hey, Connie. Nice to see you. Pull those loops from side to side. Give everything a good fluff. When it comes to fluffing bows, the most important thing to me is getting any of those kinks and creases out. When ribbon kind of looks awkward, it really shows. It's kind of like flower placement. So if you've watched our tutorials on Nick's seasonal decor and you've seen how I talk and, you know, demonstrate how to add flowers to a design... You know, think of bows as being similar. If it looks awkward, just fluff it out and adjust and kind of get it to your liking. So that's the first bow. Look at that. That's beautiful. What do you guys think of that? Show some hearts if you like it. Storming in North Carolina was hot last week, but cool yesterday and today. Well, lucky you, Patsy, because it's, it's hot as heck here. Uh, unbelievably hot. But, you know, then again, other parts of the country, like Texas, this is nothing for them. So, you know, it's all, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, Dad? I don't know. <laughs> it's all subjective, I guess. Oh, yeah. Brittany says it's 91 and she's melting. <laughs> oh my gosh, Brittany, I can understand. So we're going to cut another length of our wire. So let us know what you did today. Did you guys do anything fun? I know it's Monday, but you know, hopefully you all had a great weekend. Place another length of wire inside. And just as a quick little showcase, here is the wand it comes with. So as I've said, with everything in your shop, everything in life, you're going to have to kind of accustom it to your hands and your liking. I don't actually use this that much because I don't add too many loops to my bows. So you guys know uh, me as liking less loops in my bows. Um, I don't like my bows to be super full because I like tucking in flowers and greenery. But if you do a tree topper, which we can demonstrate next month if you care to see, you just place it inside and it compresses all of your loops without having to use your hands. So for this bow, let's use this ribbon. And then we can use some other types as well. Beautiful bow. Love that ribbon. Thank you, Ann. So for this bow, let's do a traditional. I don't think we've done a traditional with this ribbon yet. So place some tails. Look at one side's much longer than the other. That's just gonna add to the beauty. Work those tails in. And for a traditional bow, it's probably the easiest bow you can make. You're gonna take your tail, your end of your ribbon, place it upside down in your bow, uh, your bow maker, your bow dabra, twist it, create a loop, and just continually tr uh, twist it until you have your desired amount of loops and tails. So. We'll twist it again. If you don't want to twist it, you can keep your bow stationary and move your hands like this. Here's another loop. Debbie went to Costco. She said she's looking forward to this spring ribbon. I didn't know Costco was going to have ribbon. Me neither. So we go to Sam's Club, and honestly, the only time we really go there is when we get ribbons. Uh, this is a little bit more challenging for me, as you probably can see. So you don't have to actually move your bow You can just move your hands. But I'm so used to doing it kind of my way and I think it's a little bit easier to kind of show you uh, but just another example you just kind of completely twist your ribbon backwards and it works just the same right yep no different but we're gonna go back to my way so I place my tail in and then I rotate it come back in with another loop and rotate it it's just a, a quarter turn another loop 
So now we have more than enough loops for this bow, but you know what? One more for good measure, right? <laughs> One more for good measure. <laughs> <laughs> now we can cut it off. Leave our little button loop. Sandy would love someone uh, to win some ribbon. Love my Bodabra. Yes. Who doesn't love their Bodabra? I mean, come on. At this point in time, if you haven't picked one up yet, you know, and if you have arthritis or carpal tunnel, it definitely makes your life so much easier. And we're going to just pull it tight. Again, that's why we didn't need the, the wand in this case, because the ribbon didn't go nearly to the surface. So you can actually pack in quite a number of loops uh, and, you know, uh, tails in your bow maker because it's so tall and, you know, ribbon's very thin. So we pull our long tails down. So Bodabra has shared the link of what you can win. So if you're interested in learning what or seeing what the funky, uh, the, the, um, scrunchy ribbon, scrunchy ribbon, <laughs> that's the word I was looking for, uh, scrunchy ribbon looks like, just click that link and you'll be able to see exactly what it looks like. So fluff your bow, pull everything apart, pull those loops down. Another great bow, Nick. Another great bow. What do you guys think of that? Just a traditional bow with not too, too many loops. I mean, we did add a decent amount, uh, but you still have the possibility of coming back in with greenery and flowers between those loops, which is something I always advocate for because I think it just really creates such a re uh, realistic look. Not even just on reeds, swags, uh, going up your staircase, you can turn this into a lantern swag. If this was on a present, like a big tall present, even working in some flowers and greenery around, you know, what's it going to cost you? A couple extra dollars for that much of an impact. I mean, be that showstopper whenever you, you know, give a gift or whatever. So that's another bow. It's what do you guys think of traditional? I think traditional, you know, it's traditional for a reason. It, it's timeless. This technique has been around the longest and, um, you know, depending on who you ask, I think it's one of the most beautiful, especially if this was a red velvet bow, but we can't talk about that because it's 95 degrees out. But, <laughs> you know, we'll save that conversation for another day. So how are we doing on time? We're doing great. Let's make our wreath now real quick. I want to see how this turns out. So we're going to be using this green ribbon. Glory says, I like your way of rotating. You like my way of rotating? Yeah. Me too. So, you I think know, it one looks thing, easier. And I've said it before, if you're having a difficult, uh, difficult time watching me, you know, Sandy, the owner and creator of Bodabra, she does, you know, tons of tutorials as well. You know, her way of educating might be a little bit more easier for you, for you to understand. So we're all different. There's all different ways of creating bows and there's all different ways of teaching and learning. You just got to figure out what works best for you. So for this bow, Dad, I don't know. I think I want to do a funky because I keep saying the word funky. So we're going to do a long funky bow with some extended tails. So these loops are only going to have to be, you know three and a half inches or so with tails about six to eight. Take your loop, place into your Bodabra and just continue working them in. Connie says it makes my life better. Love it. Awesome, Connie. Coming back in with another loop. Rebecca would love to win. Rebecca wants to win. Yeah, just drop us a comment. You could be our lucky winner. Bodabra will choose that in the final few minutes. Uh, so stick around so you hear your name called. Another loop. This is a nice green too, Nick. Isn't it? Yes. I think this is the perfect summer ribbon. Definitely. You know, it just works for everything. So that's what we look for when buying ribbons. And Sam's Club, every ribbon was a hit this year. Maybe they were, I mean, I can't even think of one that I didn't like, which hasn't happened in years past. So coming back in with another ribbon. And we're going to be using the Bodabra ribbon in just a minute as well. They have a patriotic collection that they put together. So if you're interested in some patriotic ribbon or just generic ribbon, you can use year round as well. Uh, they got you covered. Let's catch up. Pam would love to win. Oh, I did forget the wire, says Debbie. Oh, Dad, you didn't even notice that. What? We forgot the wire. Oh, you did? I didn't even notice it either, no? I didn't notice. You That's snuck, okay. You, you were too quick for me. I was too quick, you guys. So here's an example because we all make mistakes. We're all human. So if you're ever in that pickle where you you know, don't have a wire on your bow, snip off a length, fold it in half like we would do if we place it in the Bodabra. You know, we don't have too many loops, but even if we filled this to the surface, we still could easily just take our bow out, take your wire, pull it through, and tie from behind. So, you know, yes, it's easier when it's in the Bodabra, but you know, we all forget on occasion. You're not always gonna remember every step along the way. So then, there's our bow. So we'll quickly dovetail these tails. And I'm not sure, so you guys can let us know. Do you want to see it designed on a 14-inch or an 18-inch grapevine? 
This would be nice in a watermelon wreath, too. This would be nice in a watermelon wreath. And it's funny you say that, Dad, because we used this uh, on a tutorial for a watermelon <laughs> wreath a couple weeks ago. Um, so we'll just dovetail real, real quick. I don't remember how many loops we added. But, you know, that's one thing I want to tell you guys, too, is don't get too hung up on lengths. That's why whenever I say, like, six to eight inches or three to five or, you know, four to seven, it's for a reason. Because, you know, when I first started bow making, I was very, very adamant about getting every single thing perfect. And over the years, I have found that just to give you a headache, and it's not necessary by any means. So don't stress about that. JoJo would love to win. Ellen would love to win. What do you guys think, 14 or 18? 14. Dad says 14. If Dad says 14, Dad gets 14. So we'll take our 14-inch wreath. Faith says, nice cover, Nick, on that one, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll take our bow. I'm going to place this bow in the lower left. Uh, yeah. Let's do lower left. What Bob and Layla both say 14. You got it. So Glory uh, has some of these ribbons from Sam's Club. Yeah, put them to use with your Bodabra. So we're just going to tie it tight. Really, really tight. And I'm tying it from the surface, you guys. And then we're going to cut off the wire. You're not going to see any of the wire, except for just wrapping around the back. But there's not going to be any possibility of scratching your customer's door. And ultimately, that's what it comes down to. And, you know, I say customer because we do sell our wreaths, but, you know, if you're just making bows, you know, to give to friends and family and you're putting them on wreaths or designs, you're not going to want to scratch their doors or your own door for that matter. So mechanics are just as important as, you know, the beauty of the designs as well. So make sure you have good mechanics and there's no possibility of damaging anything. Rose says you're such an inspiration, Nick, and so talented. Thank you, Rose. You guys are so sweet. So fluffing, we're going to take our longer tails, bring them downwards. Lynn says, love to win. That ribbon matches me. Just mowed the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So for those of you that don't know, Stephen did get his new home. He closed on uh, June 1st, and he had to cut the grass last week for the first time. So his soon-to-be brother-in-law cut it. And that just sounds weird, doesn't it? Yeah. So soon-to-be brother-in-law, uh, and he cut it. And yeah, Dave it was, cut it. Did a nice job. He said it was very very tough to do and i could just imagine because steven's grass and it was 90 grass, degrees <laughs> and it was 90 degrees so thank you dave <laughs> thank you dave so we're just going to work some of this in so i'm sure dave looked just like this ribbon when he was done cutting <laughs> the grass so look at i have some leftover flowers and these actually came from a wreath that we got on clearance for a dollar so you know we're putting to, uh, them to use in this and it's not going to take too many we want this to be kind of organic so we'll work in some on either side, place some down below. We can also take a few and place them into the bow as well. You know, customizing reeds is totally your call. So we do teach, you know, how to design reeds and kind of my style and the mechanics and skills behind it. But ultimately what it comes down to is if you're making it for yourself, who cares if other people like it, right? As long as you like it and love it, I mean, everybody else's opinion is pretty much invalid at that point. What do you think, Dale? Yep. Right? As long as you love it. So taking a few more pieces, working them in. Renee would love to win. Renee wants to win. Awesome. So these bows, you know, at this time of the year, you can actually get a jump start on the holiday rush and holiday season by making a bunch of these in advance. You know, let's say this was a, a red ribbon and you get tons of orders or tons of bows that you need to make at Christmas time. You know, you can have all of these pre-made and fluff them out later in the year when the time comes. You know, always stay ahead of the game for those of you that are business owners and kind of be prepared because you never know what's going to happen down the line. You could get a, a cold like we did over the last few Christmas seasons, which can throw you back a little bit. Nick, do you always add the bow before you add the flowers? Nope. I mean, I you could have answered that one. I know. Did. Yeah, I should have let you answer that. It's honestly whatever I feel like in the moment. And if you're not confident in doing that quite yet, um, you know, I would recommend working in a little bit of product underneath, especially if you're working a ton of flowers in, because what ends up happening is you may kind of cover up your bow uh, if you place it first. But once you get the hang of it and you kind of can design in your head a little bit, it makes it a lot easier just kind of going with the flow and working things in when you feel like it. A couple more pieces of this. What do you guys think? Hey, Marianne, nice to see you. So the funny thing is, is Dad, uh, is Marianne is one of our exclusive Wreath Community members. Yep. And I ran into her the other day. I run into her all the time. And I ran into <laughs> her the other day at Hobby Lobby. And somehow the casino came up in conversation. And I said I haven't been in a long, long time. 
And all of a sudden that night we went to Encore. How funny is that? <laughs> you know, it was our first time. Uh, well, my first time gambling. When I turned 21, I wanted to go to Vegas. Uh, and it was, you know, when I turned 21, it was the day after was Wreath Makers Live. So that took place in uh, New Orleans. And I was like, oh, you know, I wish I could be in Vegas right now. And that quickly changed because we had some serious fun in in New Orleans. But, yeah, it was our first time. Me and Yaya played slots. Yaya won, which was awesome. Uh, she won big. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, we had tons of fun. It was fun, yeah. We had a good time together, yeah? Yeah, so we're going to just work in a few more pieces of this, and we're going to call it quits. Sorry about that phone, you guys. Um, Yaya's sister calls her from Florida each and every day, and it's really cute because they talk a whole lot about a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> That's <laughs> so, cute, though. <laughs> All right, let's work in a little bit more. Beautiful, love the flowers in that wreath. Thank you, guys. Nanette says looking good. And another thing, too, is, you know, we often talk about working in products in your bow, and we're going to show how to do that. So we're going to just take this piece right here, and we already added a few pieces. Look what I'm doing is I'm just sticking things right into the bow, and that just makes it look that much more natural, that much more organic, uh, and that's what I really like in my wreaths. Is I want my bow to look as though... You know, it's growing out of my design. Nature has taken over, and everything's kind of growing over it. Kathleen says, I'll be right back. Going to buy my, bo my bow dad, bro. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, so the link is down below in case you guys are interested, uh, our affiliate link, and you can just order anything off of that. And it helps us kind of track who purchases what uh, and kind of what you guys are interested in. So now what we're going to do is show you how this wreath turned out. So we'll, we'll fluff it out and spend a little bit more time on it, but... How simple is that? It's gorgeous, Nick. You know, the more you complicate designs, the more stressed out and crazy you'll get. So, you know, designing should be fun. I love what I do each and every day, and I don't even look at it as a job. So, you know, have fun with your designs. Not everything has to be super perfect, right? Yep. Crunch time, everybody. Don't forget, who wants to win scrunchy ribbon? Yes, crunch time. How are we doing on time? About red, eight minutes. Red, silver, or gold, I believe, are the, the, the color choices. Yes. All right, so let's create a bow using Bodabra's ribbon collection. So we actually could use our mini Bodabra for this. Um, and let's see what we can create. Let's use this ribbon because I love this one and I know this is dad's favorite from the Bodabra collection that they released with Morex this year. Uh, look at that. That's amazing. Isn't that pretty? Yep. So here's the mini Bodabra. And instead of using mini ribbon, we're actually gonna be using full size ribbon just to show you that it doesn't have to be super perfect. Notice how Nick didn't forget the wire, guys. I know. <laughs> I wouldn't hear the end of that with you guys if I forgot it again. That's simple and cute, says Edna. I just got my boy Dabra and I love it. Awesome, Alberta. I would love to win. Yes, keep those comments coming. So I'll just take my tail, and it's all cut up because it's the end of the roll. We'll just place it in, and it holds it really tight. So if you have a tough time holding things, like I said, arthritis, carpal tunnel, Bodabra, makes life easier because you don't have to hold everything so let's create a couple loops we don't even need tails on this so this would be the perfect present wreath present bow come back in with another loop and i figure we could easily fit you know four or five in in this uh mini looks like you could yeah yeah and it's holding it really tight so even if you let go it's not going to pop out come back in which is great because if you notice, as, as many bows as you made, Nick, over the time, you're, it hasn't gotten loose, you know? Yeah. It's, it's so just, Sandy... It's a great product. Sandy um, actually sent me a new Bodabra. And see this one? This one's the one that's 11 years old. 10. Maybe 10 years old. Maybe a little bit older. Who knows? I got this when I was like, I don't know, 11, 12 years old. Maybe, maybe a, a year or two off of that. But still... You know, so if you purchase from Bodabra.com their ribbon collections, you don't have to actually order anything with the Bodabra um, because I'm sure Bodabra knows how long their product will last. So that's four loops on this side now. Let's see, can we fit one more? We should be able to, right? Unravel a little bit more ribbon. And come back in with one final loop. So I'll just snip it off. Yeah, so they shared the link. Would love to win scrunchy ribbon. Use my Bodabra to make 60 funky bows for class reunion after this month. Wow, Fran, that's a lot of bows. Pull your wire through. We created a slip knot. A slip knot is not a permanent way of securing your bows, but it does help. And if you have to step away, you don't have to worry about it falling off. 
tie it a couple times from the back. I like to do three knots, you guys, just to really make sure it's not going anywhere. How's the table look? For those of you just tuning in, like I said, Dad painted it. I'm making a mess while so using my bow as a little Swiffer. Show off my table painting <laughs> skills. <laughs> look at that, you guys. And you do a great job. So our winner of the night is Alberta Philpot. So congratulations, Alberta. Congratulations, Alberta. Yes, everybody congrats. And like I said, you know, if you've never won anything in your life, that is fine. Because we've had tons of winners here in Bodabra that have never won and, you know, are lucky enough to win a roll of ribbons. So each and every Monday, we are live here in Bodabra at 7 Eastern on the dot. Um, and if you follow me on Nick's Seasonal Decor, you already know that with commitments and stuff, if I tell you something, it might be a completely different day or month or year. I mean, I told you guys that this workshop would be done in what february it's june yeah but you you saved yourself by not saying what year next so I, that's, true. <laughs> that's true but we are live every monday at seven on the dot here in bodabra and look that's what we can create using the mini bodabra if you wanted to add some tails you could have added that and wouldn't have added any you know real bulk to it um but that would look great on a present right imagine this is a box you place that on you're good to go alberta says wow i won thanks congratulations <laughs> All right, we have time for one more simple bow. So we'll use our mini one more time, and we'll use this ribbon, which is one of my favorites from Sam's Cub. Very thin, but does the job. Then we'll cut a length of wire, place it inside, tuck it behind, and secure. So we'll cut some tails, place them like this, then take your ribbon, and for this bow, we're gonna do three loops on either side. And since this is very thin, I just know that we're not gonna have issues of it, you know, being too tall on the mini. So even though that this mini is for hair bows, and I don't demonstrate hair bows, Sandy is your go-to for that. She does an amazing job and she's created really cool pieces. Um, you know, you don't have to be using it for hair bows. If you just have narrow ribbon, or not even narrow ribbon, because we just showed you guys you could use two and a half inch, and you just want to make some smaller things. This is definitely more to scale than, you know, the larger Bodabra, for mini projects at least. All right, three loops. Now we're going to do two more. And these two are only going to be about two and a half inch. And then you guessed it, Dad. What's our final loop going to be? The final What's it loop? Called? A button loop. A button loop. <laughs> My favorite little button. <laughs> His favorite little button loop. So we'll just cut that short. You only need about an inch and a half of ribbon for that. Tuck it back in. Notice what I did here too. See that? Yep. What is it? It's an overhang. It's all overhang, yeah. Just in case, you guys. Always leave yourself a little bit of give uh, in case, you know, you kind of, when you're fluffing, you pull too tight and you kind of lose that loop. And what are you doing now, Nick, so people know? So we're going to take our wire out. Since yep. we folded it in half, you're going to have a cut end and you're going to have a, an end that's just a loop. Pull either way through, right? Yep. Pull it out of your Bodabra. Take that wire to the back. Hi, Linda. Do you use a wire bow on the wreath? So yes, all of the ribbon we're using today is wired. Tie it tight. Alberta says, where do I go to give my information? Uh, send Bodabra a message. So if you go to Bodabra's Facebook page, send them a message and they'll be in contact with you and send out your free roll of ribbon. Dovetail either end. Take your loops, your tails, pull them down, give them a good fluff so there's no creases or kinks. Take your three bigger loops on either side, pull those out, give them a good fluff. Now what we have is one more loop on either side that's a little bit smaller for some added drama. And then our button loop dead smack in the middle. And look at that. Another great one, Nick. Another great one. Beautiful. Using the mini. Look at that. Master bow maker you are, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think? All right. So we created this bow. We created this bow. And like I said, we'll have pictures of everything posted for you all. We created this using the mini. It's a two and a half inch. We created this. And lastly, probably my favorite. And let me know which of those is your favorite too. And don't just mirror what I say, you guys. I know some of you guys are people pleasers. And if I say the wreath, you'll say the wreath. Or if I say this bow, you'll say it. Um, you know, that's, don't do that. <laughs> Let me know honestly what your favorite is. 
This is probably my favorite because I love those colors together. So thank you all so much for joining. I'm Nick Kretikos of Nick's Seasonal Decor. You're watching me on Boda uh, Bodabra, and we are live here each and every Monday. And as I said earlier, each and every Monday, Bodabra does, uh, does give away a free roll of ribbon. And all you have to do is just let us know you want to win. Um, and on, you know, with that being said, if you're interested in any of Bodabra's products, the mini, the large, the wire, ribbon collection, separate, you know, as a kit, whatever you want, you can order through our affiliate link down below in the comment section. So once again, thank you. I love you guys. And we'll see you next Monday. When, Dad? 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Eastern. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Thanks, Andy. Thank you.